The animal that springs to mind first if I mention the destination Bundaberg is probably a polar bear, when really it should be one of these little critters, turtles. Monropo Turtle Rookery lies just 15 kilometres east of Bundaberg and it's home to the largest concentration of nesting turtles on the Australian mainland. Each night during nesting season, between November and March, a crowd of up to 300 people will gather at the Monropo Conservation Park to watch the next generation of loggerhead turtles make their way to the sea. Taken in groups by a park volunteer or ranger, the visitors walk through the dark along the beach and form a ring around each nest. Kids are given a ringside seat as volunteers measure the adults, count the eggs and mark the position of the nest. The night before our visit, a clutch of a hundred babies hatched here and made their way to the sea. We're charged with inspecting the empty nest to check for stragglers. We find ten, trapped by a tangle of grass roots and compacted sand, and the kids form a line of torches to guide them to the shoreline where they're quickly swallowed by the waves. The next day, we wing our way to Lady Elliot Island, where we hope to get in the water with them. Lady Elliot Island is a tiny coral cave that lies 80 kilometres east of Bundaberg, easily accessed by daily flights. It's a beautiful day, so we land, gear up and jump in. We're greeted almost immediately by one of these graceful creatures. The island is surrounded by crystal clear water and a beautiful coral reef. Perfect conditions for playing underwater either by snorkel or scuba. We're lucky enough to be joined underwater for a morning snorkel by resort managing director Peter Gash. He even lets us play with his underwater toys. These underwater scooters are awesome. Highly recommended purchase, especially if you've got a few thousand lying around and a coral wood candy. Peter first visited the island over 30 years ago and he's still blown away by its beauty. To him, it's the most beautiful spot in the Great Barrier Reef. The turtles in the reef are almost tame, allowing us to tickle their backs as they nudge each other out of the way to get our attention. Being so close to the continental shelf, the island is home to large numbers of megafauna, including giant wrasse and manta rays. It's also home to a wide variety of smaller reef fish, such as my favourite, the cheek little anemone fish, Nemo. The island is a haven for over half a million nesting birds, including noddies, tropic birds and these noisy crested terns. The resort does provide earplugs during nesting season for the light sleepers among us. And what better way to end the day to check out the view of the entire island from the old lighthouse and watch the sun go down. Wow.